Give it up for Andre Arruda, guys. It's insane. Like imagine, imagine being three foot something in high school, but also a ginger. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I didn't even have a chance. They used to dribble me around like a basketball. I, ironically, it was the midget basketball team that did it, and it, it's crazy. There's like there's only about three, four hundred thousand little people in the entire planet, and only about one percent of the world is actual. Well, only 1% of the world are actual, real gingers. You have a better chance seeing a unicorn than another disabled... Than another, you have a better chance seeing a unicorn than another disabled redhead, or a midget redhead. I totally fucked that up right now. I, I apologize. But see, technically I'm not even a redhead anymore. You see, in my early 20s, I kind of went dark. See how messed up that is? Yeah, I know. It's like the curtains don't match the lower curtains. It's weird. <laughs> It just suddenly, it's like, like a chia pet, it's like, j j ginger I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> oh, that's a good joke, those of you who didn't laugh, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> and people are always asking, like, if it bothers you so much, why don't you shave it off? Like, are you kidding me? This feels incredible. I just, I just smoke a joint and I for hours and hours. I don't even have a cable anymore, it's the best. <laughs> it's great. And you know, it's true, if, if you rub a little man's red beard, you get a wish. Um, I'm not allowed to know that. But everyone has the same wish. It's, I wish he didn't bite me, because uh, now I'm a werewolf. And every full moon, I can't reach the bread at the top shelf at Loblaws. I told you this would get weird. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, uh, I did a show a while ago, a few, actually, a few weeks ago. Someone came up to me. He's like, that was good. Aren't you worried about making people nervous? Because there are people out there. When they see disabled people in public, they get nervous. Like, really? As if that's true, that there are people who get nervous when they see disabled people in public. Well, then those assholes shouldn't be in public, because <laughs> we're friggin' everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now some of you are nervous, I can tell. <laughs> 90% of this 90 of this audience right now is disabled. And that is a true statistic I just pulled out of my ass right now. Because of what we call hidden disabilities. You know, something you'd never know that someone has just by looking at them. Like they could be dyslexic, they could have ADHD, they could have voted for Rock Ford. You have no idea. Just by looking at them. I was at a party, a birthday party, and there was this amazing, Mocha chocolate cake. It was one of the best things I ever ate. And this, this one guy wasn't eating any, and I'm like, dude, you should try this cake. And he's like, oh, thank you, but uh, no, I can't. Because I'm lactose intolerant. Great. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So, <laughs> only, so I'm a three foot something asthmatic redhead who wears hearing aids and drives a mobility scooter. <laughs> but at least I can eat cheese, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, dude, that's rough. And he's like, no, 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 it's okay, because in actuality, and I love that he said in actuality, because that helped identify him as a douchebag. Um, <laughs> he's like, in actuality, everyone is lactose intolerant, because we're the only species that drinks milk from another animal. Fuck you, all right? <laughs> this cake is amazing, and it's not gonna make my, make my ass explode, so just because you're a lactard, doesn't mean everyone else gotta be a lactard. And yeah, I call him a lactard. I'll totally, I'll do any lactards in this room? Eddie, go fuck yourself. That's what I'm saying. It's great. <laughs> uh, I, gotta, I gotta say something. Um, you tallies, and tallie is the word that I call anyone over five feet tall. I mean, 
People always ask me, like, what do we call you, midget, dwarf, little person? I'm like, Andre, call me that. And they're like, no, we can't do that, we have to label you. I'm like, right, I'm gonna call you Tolly, that's it. And something else, I can't do regular things in public without really making you Tollies excited. Like, I can't eat sliders. And, you know, the mini hamburgers? I can't eat those in public without confusing stoners. You know, it's like... <laughs> Wasn't Dre a midget like five minutes ago? <laughs> and ladies, if you see a guy with a guitar, that guy's sexy, right? That's a sexy guy, all right? Come on, you know, come on, now, don't be shy, you know it's true. Unfortunately, I can't hold a guitar, they're too big for me. But I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit that I can uh, play a couple of mean chords on the ukulele. <laughs> That's right, I'm a master uxman. Fortunately, it doesn't get me laid. He gets me ice cream. <laughs> it's a good thing I love ice cream. But you can love ice cream, but you can't love ice cream. You know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is don't fuck ice cream. That's, it's cold. It's too cold for the genitals. It's gross, you know? Uh, but speaking of ice cream, one of my best friends um, is a lactard. And uh, it's great. When, when I have my friends over, I like to share snacks with them. And there was only one ice cream that is lactard safe, that I actually enjoy. And there are these ice cream sandwiches, miniature ice cream sandwiches, called cuties. Yeah, they had to be called cuties, but that's not the worst part. They're in the top shelf of the freezer aisle. And the last time I went to go get them, there was this woman, and I'm like, excuse me, could you please pass me those ice cream sandwiches? She's like, oh my god, can I? She obviously had cats, and I, I'm like, yes. I'm like, which one? I'm like, the cutties. I like the box of cutties. What is he? You mean the cuties? I'm like, yes, I get cuties. <coughs> and give me a box of, couple box of magnums right next to it. <laughs> the mini magnums? Yes, the mini magnums. And I wanted to flip her the bird. I wanted to give her the finger so badly, but I can't. I used to love doing that. And someone took a photo of it one time and posted it on Facebook. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's adorable. No, I can't do that. It's gross. <laughs> uh, the weirdest encounter, the weirdest encounter was, uh, this, this, is, this is weird. I was waiting for a buddy of mine at, uh, at, the, at uh, on Queen Street. And this guy came up to me. Normal looking guy. I'm coming up across the street and a cigarette. He's like, he looks up and he's like, hey. What you doing? Waiting for a friend. Why? Because she's late. Mind if I wait with you? Okay. <laughs> and then he just turned around and stood right beside me, looking in the same direction I was. It was weird, and I could tell through the corner of my eye that he was looking down. He was building up to ask me something, something so important that he was just building courage to get. And then finally, are you Willow? <laughs> so you see, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Old 80s movie, Val Kilmer, Warwick Davis, you know, Willow, Willow, Rizal, Rizal, Willow, young mother on the desert, you never fade up by big black root. See, those of you know what I'm talking about, the rest of you think I'm on meth right now. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I'm not Willow. And he's like, what, what, what race are you? Like, I'm Portuguese. <laughs> no, but where, where are you from? Uh, Kitchener, right? <laughs> I, I live in Toronto now. He's like, oh, but, but I've seen it on TV. With the, with the houses in the ground. With the certain <laughs> doors. I'm like, dude, that's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right? That's a movie, not a documentary. I'm like you, but shorter. And then he's just like, no. <laughs> he turned into Luke Skywalker when he found out Darth Vader was his dad. He's like, no, that's impossible. <laughs> and he just walked away, never to be seen again. He's just like, I, I just totally destroyed this guy's world. I should have humored him. I'm like, yeah, I'm a leprechaun. Um, I live on the other side of the rainbow. Sorry, I don't have a pot of gold to give you, but I gave it to the other schizo at the Duffer Ball. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.
Give it up for Andre one more time, guys.